what are the top five places to go bird watching in the United States coming up right after this. Hello guys, my name is Eddie. I'm a wildlife biologist, a big birder, and I'm in my third year in law school, and I'm currently in Spain, in Barcelona, on a law school semester abroad. But I decided to do a video that reminded me of my homeland and just go through what I think are the top five best places for bird watching in the United States. And this is such a subjective question because there are so many ways that you can come up with uh, great places to, to go birding. The way that I came up with these five places was mostly just on the species count, but I also wanted to choose five places that for the most part have different species. And obviously I haven't been everywhere in the United States to go birding. I've been to a bunch of places, even all the places on this list I haven't been to. So part of it is also me just using my best judgment. But anyways, as I go through this, I also want you to comment below what you think are some of your favorite birding spots or if you think any spot should be on this list. With that said, let's get into it. So number one is a place that might surprise you because if you Google what are the top 10 or top five birding places in the United States, this place probably won't come up. And I'm gonna say the coast of New England. The reason I say this is because there are a lot of great migratory spots. One place I have in mind is Plum Island. And this is just one of those spots that is really awesome for warblers. If the wind is going the right direction, you can still get kind of a fallout. Odeon Point State Park in New Hampshire is really good. The Boston Common is really good. And just going from Boston all the way up into the coast of Maine, there's a lot of really good migratory spots where you can get a lot of good species of warblers, plus a lot of good seabirds. But the reason why I chose the coast of New England is it is really close to the mountains as well, where you can get some montane species like blackback woodpeckers, gray jays, boreal chickadees. I gotta say in the springtime, the New England coast is just absolutely gorgeous. This is actually where I first fell in love with birding. So that might be a little bit why I'm biased towards New England. Now out of controversy, I'm not including Cape May, New Jersey, which you can look at the species list. Cape May, I'm sure I haven't even looked at it, but it probably has a significantly longer list. I know Cape May is also really good for hawk migration, which is pretty cool. But just for total number of species, you can get a lot in New England. And I just think it is really cool that the mountains are just so close by. So yeah, the first one is a pretty controversial pick by me. Number four is Southern Florida. Florida is an amazing place for birds. I think for a person who's not super into birds and doesn't know a ton about birds, they might think that Florida is the best place for birding in the United States. And that's probably because there's such a high abundance of large water birds there. Though Florida does have a high abundance of water birds, it is actually not the place with the highest bird diversity in the country. Although they do have a fair amount of endemics, they do have some species that you can only find there and not other parts of the country, like the snail kite, for example. And they have some species in the Florida Keys, like the Western Spindalis, that are these Caribbean island specialties that you also cannot find in other parts of the country. Year round, Florida has tons of great stuff, tons of great water birds will overwinter there. So you can't go wrong birding in Florida. So number three is Southern Texas. The very Southern tip of Texas, including the Rio Grande Valley into the coastline around where South Padre Island is. South Padre Island is an excellent migration spot. Now this is an area I've never been to. I did live in Texas for two years up in Fort Worth but I never actually made it down that far to the southern tip of Texas. I did hit up some other migration spots further up on the coast. High Island is a world-class migration spot. A lot of people think that that's the best place to see migratory songbirds. Corpus Christi is also a huge one. And in that southern area of Texas, that has some of the highest species counts in the whole country. You get some pretty interesting neotropical species. You get Kiskadees, you get Green Jays, you get Chachalacas. Again, I've never been here but it is definitely on my list of places to go. And I know for sure it would be a great adventure going down there for those Southern Texas specialties. Number two is one of my favorite spots in the entire United States, not only for birds, but for natural history in general. And that is Southeast Arizona. Pretty much the Southeast corner, Southeast of Tucson, just has so many different habitats. You have the lowland Sonoran cactus habitat. And as you go up in elevation into the scrubland, 
Then you get into the high mountains where the forest is. With all this habitat diversity, that is a recipe for enormous bird diversity too. And there's so many beautiful places with mountains and great hiking around this area. And the other cool thing is this is also a region where there's lots of Mexican species, particularly Western Mexico, where their range barely creeps across the border. So you get things like trogans, you get a lot of unique species of hummingbirds, you get Mexican chickenies. It is such a fun adventure going around Southeast Arizona on a birding trip. One weekend definitely does not do this place justice. And again, it will forever be one of my favorite places to adventure. And my number one place is a pretty controversial choice. And it's also biased because I'm based out of San Diego and that is Southern California. When many people think of Southern California, they think of beaches and they don't really think of lush green habitat. But the truth is Southern California is just about as diverse as you can get when it comes to different landscapes and habitats. And there's actually more bird species that are found around Southern California than anywhere else in the country. I did not believe it until I looked it up when I moved there seven years ago. Kind of like Southeast Arizona, you have lowland desert, you have scrubland, you have the forest. But the thing about Southern California is you also have the ocean. So you get all these seabirds too. On top of that, there are quite a few West Coast endemics that you find in California. And there's the Western Flyway too. So you can get plenty of migratory songbirds. Some people will argue that there are places in Northern California that are better spots for birding. But the reason why I chose Southern California is because LA County and San Diego County have the highest species counts out of anywhere in the country. One of my favorite things to do around San Diego is to do a big day of birding where you go from the desert into the mountains to the coast all in one day. Come back to the channel if you guys wanna see more birding content. And also I just do nature content in general, environmental sustainability stuff, and also health and fitness stuff. And until then, I will catch you later.